Hello everyone and welcome to another Tecla Power Fab Tips and Tricks video. My name is Dan Lopez and I am a technical manager for MIS here at Trimble. Today's video is a quick one, it's a short one most for sure, uh, but it's intended to put up to date uh, the Power Fab Go users as where to find information that they need to see the status of the assemblies or which station is next in the process. Uh, there is always a few minor improvements that we do in the visualization access of the information, uh, but we don't think out loud about that too much, but it's important that users understand where to go to find this in the best way according to the role. So let's say, let's take a look in PowerFab. I'll show you in a job uh, the different areas. Again, which one to utilize, it will probably most for sure depend on the role that you play in your organization. So let's just start by going into a job. Let me just open this one right here, the 2021-034, and we'll go to the main screen. Now, the first area where you can actually visualize the status is in the assemblies group. Uh, when you go here, you know, in the past, you will have access only to the bill of materials, uh, see the inspections results with failure here under the screen, or access that assembly directly in the Trimble Connect model. Uh, now you can also see the status logo here that we utilize in the shipping area. You may have seen this uh, logo before. So if you click on that, it will actually show you a visual representation of the take from the stock status or inventory status, the production stations and show you which ones are uh, you know complete and if it's in progress or pretty much complete in, in data status in general inspections if there are some applied and and of course this one has failures for this example and then erection status or job site status as well if you track that uh, particularly in your shop if you have some fill stations so this is one good area for example just as a break manager to come and look for a specific assembly uh, search for it and then look at the status of that one in particular uh, the next area will be uh, the actual prepared cut list right the people that it's actually cutting the material at the shop floor they need to know where to send that material next right especially for some of those companies that has uh, a little bit more of complication on the routes. Those companies, they need uh, the visualization for their people to see where to send those materials to. So let's take a look at this cut list. And here I'll filter out used by the status to make it easier uh, on the screen uh, for only the material that is ready to be cut. That's another thing that you can do to help yourself. If I go and say only the material that is ready, then I can go and, for example, uh, visualize these channels and as you can see here there is a column that says next and it's showing what's the next station on the process uh, this is not there by default just know that uh, so as a user you can customize those uh, here under this gear that you see on the screen here you can choose which fields you want to show uh, in there and there's the next station field where you will be able to see what what's supposed to be after the current station in your case uh, so where where should you send that material to to be processed next uh, so that's a great way to to analyze that now if i go back uh, the next area that i want to show you is in production tracking so uh, let me actually click on that and here, uh, either if you process assembly by assembly or as a batch, we can help you in both scenarios. So if you, for example, in your shop have a tablet for every, uh, for every welder, uh, maybe they will be processing pieces individually as they are welding them. So if I, if I use the individual uh, production tracking screen, you can see here that there is a next station box here that shows them uh, where to go next. So they can visualize that uh, you know from the first moment what what they are supposed to where they are supposed to send that material to uh if you usually uses your foreman and he uses like a, an ad batch option there is also available there in, in, in as well so when i go to the ad batch option you can see here on the left that uh, below every assembly it's showing me what's the next station in the process so that's also a great way for them to know where to submit those materials to or group them together uh, to be sent at the same time. Now, the next areas are no new changes, but I still want to mention them because some people may not be aware of the possibilities. So the first one is production status, which is one, um, one of those more, more famous reports that we have in the, in the desktop version. Uh, it's also accessible from Tecla PowerFab Go. And here you can have 
uh, the same customization that you have on the desktop version, right? As you can see here, I have like a summarized view where I have uh, basically a general production status and a field status that shows in progress if there is maybe a few stations completed uh, or completed if all of the stations assigned were done and then the same for field status, right? So that's customizable. Again, depending on how much details you need, you can go to the gear on the upper right and then include the fields that you want to see like weight or, or lot number any of those that could be useful for your shop operations in the production status you can see that in this example i have only show uh, the general view but i can also select a specific stations on the process right so I, if i am the i don't know the parts foreman maybe i want to show the cuts of a station uh, and maybe the next one right because that's what it's important to me or if i am in painting maybe i show the a station before my process plus uh, the my station in the next one. So it, it just all depends on that. You can include shipping status and also the destinations and then fill status as well. Once you make your changes, you just submit them. And then they show up uh, here on the screen. So again, uh, it's fully customizable for that end. Now, if I go back to the main screen, uh, the last area is the shipping status. So have in mind that this can also be accessed from the shipping uh bill of material or from the shipping calendar right it just depends on on how do you if you plan your loads or not so uh, in this case um, i'm coming here to the load number three as an example uh i have my list of assemblies that i want to put into that truck or that i uh, that i am planning to load into that truck and then there is a status symbol right here as well so you can monitor you know through the process which if the stations are being completed if you if you are going to be able to ship those assemblies on time uh, so there are there are different tools available for that uh, i hope this helps you find information uh, let me know if you have any comments again help this area they are there to help you they are um, trying to make your, themselves always available so feel free to reach to them or reach to your salespeople if that's needed as well. And as always, thank you for watching.